Okay, so hi, hi, hi everyone and welcome to our fifth and final day of this immersion. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so happy uh, that you are here with us. It means the world. Before we do anything, before we jump into today's session, let's just take a moment to anchor, to ground, to arrive. Mm -hmm. I need it. I'm sure you need it too. Um, okay, let's just close down the eyes. Mm. And as you've closed down your eyes, see if you can find a position that feels comfortable at least for just a moment. Maybe wiggling around, shifting, shuffling. Mm. And then just coming into stillness. The fifth time you are sitting right here in this immersion. How does it feel? Hmm. Without trying too hard is it possible to bring yourself into presence? Relaxing your body, softening your breath. Turning inside. Right here, right now, all I feel is gratitude. Gratitude to be able to do this and be here with you. Maybe you feel it too, maybe you don't. It doesn't really matter. It's just beautiful to be able to feel. Through your nose, take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Mm. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. Ah, okay. Mm. It feels pretty crazy that this is our our last session. I've I've really, really, really enjoyed. Um, doing this immersion, it's, it's been beautiful. Um, even though we've had some technical issues and felt stress at times, I've just been in, in joy, really, 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 really. And, and my heart today uh, feels so, so full. So thank you, thank you, thank you for, for being with us. It, it really, this is it. That's what I feel. <laughs> um, so we've done a lot. Um, this is the fifth and final day and we've done a lot up to now. Um, you know, moving the body, focusing the mind, breathing deeply, learning a lot. Today, I want you to let go of everything. Um, I want you to let go, to let go, to let go, and I want you to feel. So we call this session Feel, and that's what we're gonna do. Sometimes I feel that it's not until I stop, it's not until I pause whatever I've been doing, it's not until I 
create space to truly and deeply relax, I can allow myself to feel deeply. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we make ourselves so busy with things, even though they're great, good, and they give a lot, but it stops us from really, really tapping into the heart and to feel whatever is there. And feeling is, is a key, you know? It's the key to, to, to tap into essence, um, I believe. So on today's schedule, the practice we're gonna do is a yin yoga class. Mm -hmm. If you never did, done yin yoga before, um, it's a practice where we do just a few postures, uh, only seated or lying down, and we hold them for a little bit longer. So from three to, to five minutes, depending on uh, how we're feeling and what kind of posture it is. And this is a practice that um, it does a lot of things to us. So, so on a physical level, we focus on um, working with the fascia, the connective tissue around all our muscles. We're also diving a little bit deeper in, not just to the muscles, but also to the, the bones and the joints and the ligaments and the tendons. Mm -hmm. So it's a practice where we, we go a little bit deeper into our physical body and in my opinion, a little bit deeper into all our other, bo other bodies too. Um, so mind, emotions, maybe energetic spiritual body as well. Um, when, when we practice this in, in a yoga, in a yoga, in a yoga class, a yoga sala, a studio, usually there are, um, different props to use. Um, so blocks and bolsters and straps, etc., etc. I wanted to make this class accessible for everyone, wherever you are in the world and whatever you uh, have access to. So I've chosen to create a class without any props at all. With that said, if you have a cushion or uh, a bolster or a, a block or a blanket or whatever is um, in, in in your house or wherever you are, uh, feel free to use that throughout the practice. Um, but I will guide you without. So it's about becoming comfortable, maybe not too comfortable so you fall asleep, but with that in mind, you can adjust as you go ahead with whatever um, things you have in your home. Okay. Beautiful. I think that's it. I have some notes, but I might dive into them after after the little session. So let's let's start. And I know we began this way um, when we had our flow practice, but I think it's just the best best way to begin a class, especially when we want to relax the body. So please find your way into a comfortable position, lying down. Mm. And this time I invite you to, if it feels good and right for you, to just lie flat, legs straight, arms by your side, nothing fancy. <laughs> and taking your time to, to make yourself comfortable. Make sure you can relax your body into the mat without effort or without anything not feeling good. So if you need to shuffle, if you need to shift, you do so to find your way. And then just close down the eyes. Starting to relax the body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head.
If there is anywhere you are holding tension, maybe your hip area, shoulder area, somewhere in your face. See if it's possible to soften a little bit more in that area. Starting to feel the support from the mat, the floor, the earth underneath you. And also feeling the support from the space around you. Perhaps you can take in all the other people doing this practice in this group from all over the world with you. Just knowing that you're never ever alone. Together through the nose, let's take a deep breath in. And together through the mouth, sigh the air out. Two more, deep breath in. Open up and let it out. Last one, deep breath in. And release, release, release. And then just finding your way of breathing. Not trying, not forcing too much. Just tapping into a breath that feels naturally deep and calming to you. See if you can breathe all the way up to the top of your lungs. And see if you can breathe out all the way. Notice what happens in your body and mind each breath cycle. Is it possible with each exhalation to let go a little bit further and to drop in a little bit deeper? in your body, on your mat, with your breath, right here, right now. Take one more deep breath in. One more long breath out. Next inhalation, reach both of your arms over and above your head. And on your exhale, start to walk your hands, and arms, shoulders towards the right. And see if you can start to do exactly the same with your legs, feet. So starting to move the upper part of your body, the lower part of your body towards the right, keeping the body connected to the floor still. So no lifting of the left shoulder. And then maybe reaching your right hand around your left wrist. Maybe placing your left foot on top of the right. So we're beginning this session 
with a stretch for the left side of the body. And finding our banana shape. Keeping the shoulders connected to the floor. And keeping the hips anchored as well. And then just letting the eyes be closed. And the body soften in to the posture. And notice if you already, just by moving your body into this shape, have started to engage in the areas of your body. Or if there is anywhere you put on some new tension. See if you can use your breath to soften. To relax. And to release. Sometimes this kind of practice feels really, really easy without any effort, you dive right in. You appreciate the stillness, appreciate the ease. And sometimes this kind of practice is really, really challenging. It's hard to be still. It's hard to relax. It's hard to do less. And it might be even be hard to meet whatever arises as we slow down. If you dare to meet yourself as you are. Whatever feelings touches you. Allow. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Release your legs and release your arms. Coming back to center, either staying with your arms above you or just letting your arms come back besides you. 
just a moment to acknowledge whatever is there. Right side, left side, inside and out. Breath in, breath out. Inhale both of your arms up if they aren't already. And exhale, walk your hands, arms, shoulders towards the left this time. Same thing with your legs and feet. Left hand around the left right wrist and right foot on top of the left, keeping the body anchored to the floor. No lifting of the shoulders, no lifting of the hips. And whenever you found your position, a slight stretch in the right side of your body. See if you can Find stillness here. Relaxing your toes and feet, letting them hang the way they want to hang. Relax your legs from the bottom to the top. Soften your hips. Front, back, sides. Let go of any tension in your belly. See if you can breathe all the way down into your belly. Relax your back body. The lower parts, the middle parts, and the upper part. Relax your chest and shoulders, arms, hands. Let's see if you can relax all the small muscles in your face, your lips, teeth, tongue, letting go of any tension in your jaw cheeks, forehead. And see if you can relax all the small muscles around and behind your eyes. Nothing to hold. Nothing to resist. This is your time to just be.
What happens when you meet yourself in stillness? Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Releasing your legs. Releasing your arms. Again, keeping your arms up or bring them down. Whatever works for you. And again, just a moment to absorb what you just did. Perhaps feeling any tingling sensations in your hands and fingers. Perhaps feeling a spaciousness in the sides of your body. Perhaps you're not feeling anything and that's perfectly fine too. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale both of your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around yourself. I'm just moving a little bit side to side. And when you're ready, hands around your thighs, either a couple of times or just once, rocking yourself all the way up to see that. So take your time to come up. Mm -hmm. We're going to move into our second position, our butterfly. So placing the soles of your feet together. You can choose here if you want to keep your feet a little bit further away or you want to keep your feet closer. If you have any props, you are free to use them in this posture or just stay as you are. Either just staying in, a, in an upright position, perhaps this feels enough and you wanna keep your body in this shape. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, take a deep breath in to lengthen. And as you exhale, start to fold gently forward. So maybe you stay with your hands in the mat in this way, maybe forearms come to the floor and you stay right there. Or maybe you come all the way down, forehead touch the floor. Mm. Finding a posture that works for you. And finding a shape where you can still breathe deeply. Finding a shape where you can relax your body. And finding a shape where it's possible to let go. And instead of resisting your body, can you go with it? I like to talk about yin yoga in the terms of rather than using your body to get into the shape, you use the shape to get into your body. So it's not about being super duper flexible or for it to look in a specific way from the outside. 
It's really about you using this position to connect with yourself. To dive in to your body as it is. Perfect with all its imperfections. And find a shape where you can stay. Staying with yourself. With your breath. with your body and with your heart Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. And on your next inhalation, slowly start to lift your upper body up if you had to fold forward. Walk your hands back, back, back and place your hands behind you, moving your legs, knees back in. Feet hip width apart, leaning back slightly, and just moving your knees side to side to release whatever sensations are there. Maybe your eyes are still closed. Mm, coming back to stillness. Breath in and breath out. Crossing your legs, placing your hands into the mat, stepping your feet back. We're coming into all four position. And from all fours, just inhale your body slightly forward and then exhale to come all the way down to your belly. Cactus your arms out to the sides. And from here, start to bring your right knee up towards your right elbow. So we're finding what we call a spider man or spider woman shape. So bringing the right knee up towards the right elbow. It's like you're climbing on a wall or climbing on the mat. And then just turning your head towards one side, either away from the leg or in the same direction. Just remember which way. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to create balance. And then make sure you can once again re-relax your body. Letting your hips be heavy. Letting your chest be heavy. Letting your head be heavy too. It's a position to create space and open up our hips. A hip area usually holds a lot of tension. And 
and in yoga we believe that everything is connected so our body is connected to our mind is connected to our feelings we tend to believe that whatever we're going through in our lives also has a tendency to get stuck in the body or at least affect the body you know if you're going through a beautiful event maybe you get goosebumps on your body or you feel spacious and light and when you're going through something hard something challenging maybe even a trauma your body used to or usually stiffens you might feel pain just a feeling of heaviness and therefore when we start to open up our body and especially in yin yoga where we hold a position for a little bit of a longer time those events might be released and you might start to feel things sometimes when i practice i just start to cry or feel angry or frustrated without really knowing what it is and what i've learned is that we don't always need to know Sometimes it's just about letting whatever that is be released. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then just letting your right leg come back. Either staying where you are with your arms and face, maybe placing your hands on top of each other and forehead on top of your hands. And just pausing. Taking it all in. Feeling your hips one side and then the other what is present in your body breath in and breath out Coming back with cactus arms and now bringing your left knee up to your left elbow and turning the fa your face in the opposite direction of before. Letting your hips once again soften. Maybe you can feel your breath moving in your belly. If that is so, with each breath out, can you relax a little bit more? It's been five days of different practices, different ways of 
connecting to yourself. Is it possible to really give yourself this last practice? And just being. Breath by breath, moment by moment, you are safe, you are held. You are guided. Daring to let go. Daring to surrender. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Mm. Moving your left leg back, either staying as you are or hands on top of each other, forehead to the top of your hands. How does it feel to be you? Breath in. Breath out. Staying on your belly, but lifting your chest up. We're going to place our Elbows underneath the shoulders, forearms towards the mat, palms of your hands down. Call this Sphinx position a gentle, gentle back bend. So no, no force, no effort. Just see if you can relax into your shoulders, either keeping your neck in a straight position or maybe it feels better to release the neck. Tilt your head slightly down. Whatever feels best for you, you go ahead and do that. And then just close down the eyes if you haven't already. And let your body adopt to this position. Making sure you let go of your legs. Making sure you let go of your glutes. Letting your hips be heavy. And your belly soft. chest, heart, it's open.
No tension in your face. No tension in your mind. And whenever thoughts are arising, just watch them come, watch them go, and come back to breath. With each inhalation, what do you need more of? With each exhalation, what can you let go of? Maybe you inhale kindness and exhale negative thinking. Maybe you inhale ease and exhale resistance. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Beautiful. Release your body down, hands on top of each other, forehead to the tops of your hands. In just a moment, taking it all in, physically, mentally, Emotionally. Breath in. Breath out. Placing your hands underneath your shoulders, lifting yourself up, crossing your legs. We're coming back into a seated position. Just moving ourselves once again onto our backs. So just find a nice transition that works for you. Coming back to your back body for our final, final position for this class. Bringing your knees into your chest and then placing your hands around your feet for happy baby. If the feet don't feel good, maybe it's around your ankles. If your ankles don't feel good, maybe it's around your thighs, knees. I'm not going to hold here too long. So find a position where you can stay at least for a little, little while. And I love to finish with this position, even though it might be the hardest position we've done so far, the most challenging position we've done so far. 
It's just such a beautiful way of really, really getting into the hips and to see if it's possible to be still even when it's challenging, even when you're not super duper comfortable, even when it might feel like life is going against you rather than with you. Can you stay centered? Can you keep breathing? Can you feel the connection back to yourself? As Michael was gu were guiding you yesterday back to your heart space. Where everything is still. The way we move, are, think, talk to ourselves on the mat, as you know by now, is usually the way we move, the way we are, the way we talk to ourselves, the way we think outside the mat. Where are you? And how are you doing? Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Hmm. Slowly, gently releasing your feet down to the floor, a little bit wider than your hips. And just let your knees knock in. Either arms by your side or again, as we did the other day, right hand belly, left hand heart. Mm. Feeling yourself. Fully and completely. The innermost core of your being. Can you send yourself love? Breath in, breath out. You can stay in this position as long as you like. Whenever you're ready, feel free to release your legs, and release your arms. Make yourself comfortable. Body soft. Body relaxed. right here, right now. Nothing else to do and no one else to be. Just 
Shavasana. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, moving your head gently side to side. Reaching your arms over and above your head, giving yourself a nice, long, deep stretch. And bringing your knees into your chest, perhaps wrapping your arms around for one more squeeze. And then just leaning on to your favorite side for a couple of breaths. Whenever you're ready, finding your way back up into a seated position. Keep the eyes closed if it feels okay. Hands together in front of your heart. from the essence of your being. Thanking yourself for being here, taking the time, not just for this practice, but for every single session you participated in, for diving in and dedicating yourself to this immersion for wanting more. Mm. And thanking yourself for what is about to come, for this journey, life. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much everyone for participating, for dedicating yourself to this immersion and for yeah, showing up with your beautiful, beautiful presence. Um, 
This has been, as you know, a journey um, on connecting to ourself, to our essence. And I hope you all maybe has reached a point where you are thinking about that part of yourself. What do you need more of? What do you need less of? How can you dive deeper into this? What is important for you? I like to, to look at all the different things we've touched upon throughout this immersion. Um, our first day when we were talking about connection, um, the flow, the way we learn, the way we breathe, the way we feel, and take that into your life and reflect upon those areas. And um, maybe um, asking yourself, what are your tools um, to to dive deeper? What are your tools to stay more connected? I, of course, as Michael was, was mentioning in the, I think it was the day one, uh, have created three different uh, questions for you to take with you and uh, contemplate and discuss and journal upon. Um, yeah, let me just read them out to you. So question number one, when do I feel connected to myself? Question number one, when do I feel connected to myself? When am I connected to my essence, to my, to my inner being? Two, how does it feel to be connected? How does it feel when I am connected to my essence? And three, what tools can I use to go there? Mm -hmm. What tools can I use to go, go into that connection, to enhance that connection with myself? We're all different, right? So we've been giving you different, different experiences, different practices that might lead you into that, but perhaps for you it's different. It's about being in nature. It's about um, being with your child. It's about cooking food. It's about journaling a lot. Whatever that is, um, that's what you want to do more of, right? So a way to, to just create a map of, of, of this journey into self is to, to journal upon these questions, to reflect and journal upon these questions. And then, of course, we want you uh, to share with us as well. Um, so share is a super, super important element of what we're doing as well. So feel free in the Facebook group or if it's just uh, through an email to me or Michael, um, share your thoughts, your reflections, your tools. Um, together, we are less alone. And I, I believe or we believe that it's so, so, so important. So reflect and share. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to let you go soon. I know I've gone over time slightly. Thank you for still staying with me. Um, as you know, we've already talked about this. We are about to launch an online platform. It will be, be launched hopefully in a few weeks. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it now because um, it's not really important. But what we've done here is basically what we're going to do there on a weekly basis. Um, so hopefully you feel eager to follow us along. If not, you don't have to. This has been such a beautiful um, immersion for us to dive into. And this community will always, always, always stay alive and we'll keep checking in with you again and again and again. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you.